Much the worst racing news last week was without any doubt the death of the great Triptyke. Those sad headlines told an amazing story how poor Triptyke, who was in foal, got frightened in her Kentucky paddock and somehow galloped into one of the stud's vehicles. A tragic end for one of the bravest mares there's ever been. Here is Bruff Scott with his account of Triptyke's busy, brilliant career. During her two-year-old career, she was trained in France by David Smarga, and her first Group 1 victory came when she aimed for the pre-Marcel Boussac, the top two-year-old Phillies race of the French season, and the first glimpse of that high head carriage and flying feet which had made Triptyque famous. As a three-year-old, Triptyque had moved to Ireland, but her campaign was almost ludicrously ambitious. She ran in every big event by the boat race, and typically her major success came unorthodoxly against the Colts in the Irish 2000 Guineas at the Curra. It's Triptick and Celestial Bounty as they race inside the final furlong. Triptick, the leader in the early Coolmore Irish 2000 Guineas from Celestial Bounty and Song Valley. As they race up towards the finish, it's Triptick, the leader. Triptick's going to win it and up the line. Triptick's the winner of the Irish Guineas from Celestial Bounty and Song Valley. So Triptyke won a classic. As a four-year-old, she began with an unhappy stay in California before moving back to France, where, under Patrick Bianconi's care, she battled honorably through most of Europe's top races before finally coming good in the champion stakes at Newmarket. Market Express, double bed, now Triptyke has found room on the outside, and Triptyke has quickened up, and Triptyke has gone on, a furlong and a half to go, and Triptyke has stolen this, she's really quickened up and gone three clear, here comes Celestial Storm with the nose down in second place, but Triptyke has this from Celestial Storm and Park Express, Triptyke out in front for a long time, Celestial Storm is closing, Triptyke tied up, Celestial Storm really firing at the line, but at the post, Triptyke wins it. Triptyke's first champion. By the time she was a five-year-old, Triptyke knew the racing game and the Bianchon stable knew her. The understanding paid off with a remarkable season. She began, as she clearly meant to continue, Group 1 class. It was the pre ganne and Triptyke was devastating in that when she hit top gear, she engaged it quite ruthlessly all the way to the line. That ganne was one of five brilliant Group 1 victories which stretched right through the summer. The next stop was the Hanson Trust Coronation Cup Epson. They've got, just got a furlong and a half to go. And it's Rakaboshi King next to the rails. Here goes Triptyke into the lead. And Triptyke quickens up and makes these look very one pace indeed. What an amazing mare this is. It's Triptyke in the lead from Rakaboshi King second. A Kahanango is third. And Triptyke holds on. But Rakaboshi King rallies inside the final furlong. Triptyke has it though at the lines. Triptyke. Just over a furlong to go, and it's Triptyke now in the pale blue who throws down the challenge to Ascot Knight. And Triptyke with the up inside the final furlong. And Triptyke goes on by two by three to Ascot Knight. Going to be close to third, but Triptyke wins this. What an incredible mare. Triptyke, Ascot Knight to Harry Lewis. Triptyke. Just over a furlong to race, and it's entitled the leader being tackled on the inside by Triptyke. Ascot Knight is next, then Pumpy last, but Triptyke has gone through on the inside of Entitled. Neck and neck inside the final furlong. Triptyke hits the front from Entitled. A half a length up now. Triptyke and Tony Cruz as they race up to the line in the Dunstores. Phoenix champion stakes. Triptyke is going to win it at the third attempt. Down the line. Triptyke wins it cleverly by about half a length. And it's Mill Native in the hoops, next to the rails is Blessed Event. Then most welcome on the outside of Risk Me. Tucked in behind these comes Triptyke and travelling well. Toto with a lot of running to do. And most welcome goes to home now in the Dubai Champion Stakes. They're inside the final furlong. And most welcome has the call. But here comes the French Red Triptyke flying as she normally does. She comes through to take most welcome. And she goes on for an emphatic win. And Triptyke wins this for the second year running. Triptyke the easy winner. So to Triptyke's last season, when at six years of age she was nearly as good as ever and worked every bit as hard. She won her second Coronation Cup, and by way of a change, the luck went her way at Longchamp, where the jockey who beat her in the Prix du Prince d'Orange failed to make the weight. That was her 14th victory. But let's say goodbye with a memory of the last time this Iron Lady passed the post in front. They've got a furlong and a half to go, and it's going to be a wide open race. Moon Madness with him for me putting in a challenge, and Triptyke looking as well as any now on the outside. Triptyke now puts the challenge to Moon Madness, but he's a brave horse, however, he's been passed by Triptyke, who goes on from Infamy in second place. Moon Madness third at best, and Infamy tries to put the challenge to Triptyke, but Triptyke has the answer. Triptyke wins. 
16 different jockeys rode Triptyque, and as they and her various trainers would all confirm, she was a highly individual character with a mind very much her own. That didn't always make her the easiest ride in the world, but it made her even more fun to watch. No flat race horse in the last 30 years has given more pleasure and excitement to racing audiences all over the world. Is it Arsene or...